So since it's a little chilly outside, I thought it's the perfect time to work on our snowmen. Now, we just watched the video about snowmen at night and what they do when it's fun. And we talked about faces. So remember, a full face is when we're looking straight on at you. A profile is when you're turned to the side and you see the nose, but you only see one of the eyeballs. Now, three-quarter view is where it's kind of in between the two. So you see both of the eyes, but you don't see that other cheek. So we're going to make a snowman like this. Now, if you notice, this snowman takes up most of the page. It's a focus on his face. We're not doing the rest of his body. There's no big tummy on here. We're just working on his face. And he's a three-quarter view because you see both his eyes, but you don't see his whole face or his whole mouth. Now, you could do yours from this side or you could do yours from this side. It's strictly up to you. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this because if you're at home, you're gonna start with white paper, unless you have blue paper and paint. But if you're at home, you can start with white paper and we'll start with blue paper here with me. Either way, you're gonna take your paper and remember big is better in art. So I'm gonna use a blue crayon to start with. I would suggest you start in pencil, but if I start in pencil like I tried, you really don't see it. So we're gonna start with a blue crayon. So you're gonna make a big circle that goes off the edge of your paper. So draw a big circle that takes up more than half your paper and goes off the edge of the paper. Now we wanna figure out where his nose is gonna go and where his eyes are gonna go. We're gonna cut those out if you have paper. So if you're with me, you're gonna cut out your nose and you're gonna cut out your eyes. If you're at home and you don't have orange and black paper, you could draw it in right now. So just draw in where his nose would go. Now, if you're at home, I want you to take a crayon like this, whatever you want your background to be, a blue, it could even be a purple, and I want you to take the paper off the edge. This is one of Mrs. Gasher's tricks, we take this and we go on the side of the paper like this. And by using the side of the crayon, see how I'm getting the whole background done? And it colors in very, very quickly. So I want you to be working on that. Now, if you were with me, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna draw your snowman and then we're gonna use paint. We're gonna use white paint and we're not gonna make brush strokes for a change. We're gonna dab because then that'll give us a little bit more texture and it'll look a little bit more like snow. So I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna let you guys either color your background. If you're at home, do your blue background. And if you're here with me, we're gonna do some dabbing. So let's get our snowman done. I'm gonna pause this while you guys work. Then we're gonna talk about how we're gonna finish it. Once you're done with either your background or with your snowman, now we're gonna work on filling in his face. So you could do cut out orange for a nose if you have it. If you don't, then you could just take an orange crayon an orange marker, an orange pastel, and you could color in his nose. Now, if there was something else you wanted to use for his nose, you could. So color in or cut out his nose. Now, I'm also going to take a little bit of red and I'm gonna put some lines on it. Make it look a little bit more like a carrot. Then you're gonna make the eyes. Now, when we make the eyes, remember they're not going in the center of the paper because this isn't a full face. So you're gonna do one over here. And then you're gonna do one over here. Now you can make these out of anything. They don't have to be black. What did you wanna make your snowman's eyes out of? And you could even be silly and you could add eyelashes or something silly to it. We wouldn't really find that on the snowman, but that's okay. And you know what? I think I want his nose to come out a little bit further. 
So I'll just add that. Now, if you were cutting it, you would be cutting this out and gluing it down. Now, the same thing for his mouth. What are you making his mouth out? And remember, these are just suggestions. This is your snowman. So your snowman can look completely different than my snowman. I have no problem with that. I want to see what you want to create. Your snowman does not have to look like mine. What would we put on the snowman next, though, after we have his eyes and his nose? Maybe a scarf, maybe a hat. So what kind of scarf do you want to put here? What kind of hat do you want to put up here? It's strictly up to you. And you have a lot of options. You can cut it out of paper, or you can use crayons or colored pencils or markers or oil pastels, whatever you want to make your snowman dressed. So take your time. We're gonna work on this today and tomorrow, but I just wanted to give you an overall view of what we were gonna do. And I will stop and start this video as we need. So let's get to work.